Hey everyone and greetings from Akumal. I'm here with Anthony at the, at the Akumal Monkey Sanctuary and we're gonna show you that's right this is just the first uh, section we came across this is kind of a waiting area before we go on our organized tour Akumal is a municipality uh, close to Puerto Aventura so kind of between Playa and Tulum and uh, this is a monkey sanctuary so they're involved in rescue projects and uh, I'm gonna film a little more as we go along I don't know what breed of monkeys these are they they look so tiny that looks definitely like a baby very cute you know and this is kind of the the welcome area right here they serve some snacks souvenirs Sanctuario Akumal Akumal Monkey Sanctuary that's what this place is called and they rescue other animals as well not just monkeys so we are here at the Akumal Monkey Sanctuary and what they actually do here is they rescue animals from uh, all kinds of situations here uh, there are some local goats there was a local hotel that was attempting to create some sort of a mini zoo but they really didn't have the skills and the kind of the professional staff to look after the animals so the animals started dying um, they were shut down by the government and um, Akumal Monkey Sanctuary ended up rescuing a bunch of the animals these are a type of local goat and he told us he told us that they they can be touched no problems but when you see this little boy with the horns it makes you a little nervous so yeah we're gonna be seeing these goats and then some deer and they told us not to touch the deer <laughs> don't worry my love look at the little cabra oh why would you be afraid my love don't worry i mean that big boy that's not a deer my love that's a goat it's where up yeah my love that is a deer yes so they told us not to touch the deer because they're nervous around humans and in general they told us not to touch the animals Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so sweet. Stay there. Hey, so amazing. So these are, I think he called them the flying monkeys. Monkeys will notice. Um, they are from the area. He explained to us, the guide explained that um, sometimes in the area when they build hotels, they try to to re-locate uh, the animals, but sometimes accidents happen. For example, this poor guy is missing a leg. Uh, apparently got electrocuted with a with a high uh, electricity cable. What do you call them? Yeah. Anyway, so they are in the process. They are in the process of releasing these animals in the wild, but they, he told us that they have to create a family first to kind of, I guess, release all of them at once. Um, anyway, they know what they're doing. Wow, it's amazing how fast they're moving. <laughs> the goats also like that palm leaf. And look at all these goats and this is obviously a, they call it venado a deer a big deer this is also a deer oh it's so cute Aww. he told us we're allowed to touch the goats a different type of monkey it's called a holler monkey and it's also local to mexico it's local to mexico no Yep. Uh, he's not wow look at him or her I don't know like he's moving him. it's a guy he's moving so fast so no these ones are actually called spider mon monkeys they're not called flying monkeys spider monkeys look look how fast oh my goodness look how fast they're moving Let's go. <laughs> amazing oh. we, have, we have programs totally free for the kids oh. we focus on them because they're the future and we teach, we teach them to plant, uh, to plant vegetables, fruit like papaya, pineapple, oh, the clandarban. We teach them to recycle and not make more garbage. Uh, we teach them to run you sunblock, sunscreen, box spray, makeup, eco friendly, biodegradable things wear. Don't use in the ocean, in the rivers, in the lakes, in the lagoons. And say, notice sometimes when people read that, ah, it's eco friendly, nothing happens. Of course, the only thing that happens is because they reduce the chemicals. A regular sun block gonna stay in the water 600 years eco friendly, 400 years. That's the difference. Whoa. And 
When I started living here 70 years ago, you don't need to pay to be in Akuma. Now you have to pay to be on the beach. Mm -hmm. That coral reef wasn't the second position of the best coral reef. Now it's there. Sea turtle, we have more than 3,000 sea turtles some years ago. Now, almost 100. Oh, no. That was place you want to swim in the ocean river lake lagoon, cenotes, don't use chemicals. I know that you need to protect your skin. With these shirts, there's one that is longer. Mm -hmm. Get one of those ones. Because mm. our kids, they don't need a home. Mm. So please, mm. don't use it and get a shirt. Also, mm. I know that you want to show the bikini when you finish. <laughs> remove your shirt, put all your chemicals on you, and show the bikini. Mm -hmm. You want to swim again? Please take a shower. Yeah. We are adults. Our job is to rescue our home, the planet. And your job mm. is to preserve. Mm. And we are on time. It's not too late. Mm. So, family, Thank let's you. continue. Vamos. Thank you. So this is a, a little farm. We saw the little rabbits here. I'm gonna show you some tiny little rabbits. I've never seen rabbits so small. Look, there's another little one. This must be, I don't know, very, very young. And there are the parents. There's also um, some wild boar here. They're hiding now, but yeah, there's a little tiny. wild boar and we've got a couple of donkeys here and now I guess we're going to the next uh, phase that's really good to know about uh, the eco-friendly school that they have and uh, I'm gonna find out about that and how I can bring Anthony here that is awesome so here we have another type of monkey called the golden-headed lion tamarind look how cute they are he explained that these were rescues. These were kept as pets by someone. Uh, well, at least one or two of them. And again, um, what they're trying to do, these are originally from South America. They're so beautiful. Little tiny little creatures. They're from South America. So um, the Mexican government has to authorize that these monkeys can be sent to South America. In the meantime, they are keeping them here and they're just looking after them. Um, they also were successful in creating a family. This is a slight variation. He says this is Manos Doradas, so golden hands. Look at them. Oh my god, they're so tiny. They look like a rat. The mosquitoes are really after me. Wild tuft ear marmoset. Oh my goodness, look at this tiny little thing. Oh, is that the only one there? Yeah. Oh well, look, they're up here. Oh my goodness. This is another type of monkey. Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh my god, you are adorable. Hi. Oh, it's so tiny. So this is called White Tuft Ear Marmoset. Size average 19 centimeters to 25 centimeters. So come to find out not some monkeys. So look, this is from looks like from Brazil. Definitely South America. Oh, it's... Hi! Hi, cutie! Oh my god! Okay. The guy that's trying to keep us on track. Wow! Cotton-headed tamarind. Oh my god! So we have a family here, mom and dad, and two tiny babies, eight months old. Oh my goodness! These are from, also from South America, cotton headed tamarind. Mommy, you've got to see this. This bigot is the lecture trial. A ver. He is having a Look, and this is the cotton headed tamarind. Again. Paisas, vengan de para acá. Bueno, aquí le pongan atención. Eh, allá está Muk. Muk, estos son monos aulladores. Eh, ella the flying llegó porque pues, ustedes saben que para obtener una cría hay que sacrificar toda una tropa de 16 a 20 monos. Los sacrifican así atrás. Toda la mamá se cae con Muk aquí. A la hora que cae se rompe su bracito en tres piezas. Oh my God. Aquí se lo arreglamos. She was Entonces, injured. Muka. Her arm was Guarumbo is a problem in the cadera for the traffic of animals. Here we are. 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 Here we
la tira un poquito movida hacia la izquierda y un ojito está pequeño, cuando tienes deformaciones si eres animal, tu mamá no te acepta porque piensa que no eres fuerte entonces alguien lo encontró ahí, en la selva como lo llevamos aquí en, wow. localmente, en el monte y pues vaya, aquí los trajimos, los pusimos juntos ahora son como hermanos y los tenemos que introducir con nosotros como unos aulladores que tenemos para so crear una familia monkeys. y poder ser liberados they, both, they all have so, certain injuries and sometimes if, a, if an animal is born a little not pregnant and a little not perfect, the mother rejects them So right here we have all our monkeys, hey, there, as I told you, but I could chop all the places. Hey, Muka, right there. Let me try, maybe. Just... <laughs> no, <man. laughs> hey, Muka, I'm thinking here because to get a monkey as a pet, they need to sacrifice from 16 to 20 monkeys. Why? Shooting them. Shooting them? Yep. Oh my because, God. Okay. Because a person. So, mama fell off with Muka, and when she fell off, broke the arm on two pieces. Here we fix. Now it's working good. Hey, right there. Guarumbo, in chili time. That one had a problem on the hemp. We got a truck of animals and here we fix the hemp. And uh, Kevin that is given the back, maybe he turned around. You will see that I have a deformation in his mouth and one eye is smaller. When you have deformation, your mama doesn't accept you because they guess that you're not too strong to survive in the jungle. Okay. So they bring it here, we put together, we get a family and we're gonna, we're gonna start working with another color monkeys that we have put together and in the future release them and now you're gonna see raccoons that you love in your backyard because she know me i am mapache the north area oh yeah my love we see them a lot in canada mapache means raccoon Um, doesn't exactly look like the Canadian raccoons. Yeah, they were the Croatian. Oh, wow. Aww. Aww. Saliendo de octágono, saliendo de octágono. Okay. They say this was rescued from a hotel where they, uh, they kept him as a pet, if you can imagine that. So these right here are a pair of monkeys that were rescued from a circle. 14 years ago, the Mexican government said we're not gonna allow animals anymore to be used for human entertainment. So, uh, well, I mean, again, this is a sanctuary. I'm not sure what the plan is. I'm not sure where they're original from. Okay, again, looks like they're from South America. So again, he explained to us that the animals that are from South America, um, they're being kept here. They look after them and until agreements can be made that they can be reintegrated in the wild in South, Amer South America, if that's even possible after so long, I don't know. So yeah, this, uh, this is the female, and apparently when she was rescued, she was under so much stress that she was pulling her own hair out, and uh, now she's much better. Obviously, she's having a meal there. They're adorable. She was actually grabbing all those meal pieces and gathering them. Um, I'm not sure if this is some other animal's uh, home. Oh, there's a big... Um, oh my god, I only remember... Parrot, parrot. Oh, que bonito. Oh, no me digas. ¿Qué, qué estamos viendo aquí, mi amor? Tell me too. Oh, the same type of capuchin monkeys? Okay, my love. And where did these guys come from? Yeah, they can jump like six meters or more. Son los el mismo tipo de capuchinos cara negra y el lince caracal. Wow. That's... ¿Cuáles uh, son los que te cuando haces el No, those, those are the birds, my love. Los pajaritos. Okay, family, familia, pongan atención, no quiero accidentes. Volteen para acá. Ahorita vamos a pasar a soltar en las guacamayas. Por favor, vamos a pasar en familias, van a poner dedos juntos, mano plana y brazo en V. La otra persona al lado de ustedes. Obviamente la otra mano. Cuando ustedes sosteniendo la guacamaya, no la muevan, no la hagan así. Por favor, rían. Porque siempre la gente sostiene. Bueno, o sea, deja de respirar y la hace así de. Sonrían, ¿vale? Cuando pasen a sostener la guacamaya, recuerden, somos una familia, no un grupo. Nos vamos a apoyar porque pueden tomar la foto con su propio celular. Eh, digamos, cuando ellos dos pasen a, a sostener la guacamaya, alguien diga, dame tu celular. Y le tomo una foto, vamos a apoyarnos, ¿va? Guys, we're gonna hold it. My cow's gonna pass by families. You're gonna put fingers together, flat hand as a person, and like a V. The other person next to you, obviously the other hand. Okay, you are holding my cow, don't move your hand. 
Please smile and breathe. Don't smile like. Okay. And when well, you, uh, you go to hold down my house, uh, you can get your phone to somebody and take your own picture with your phone. Okay. Remember today we're about. Come here, mate. Let's go. No, yo no voy a hacer eso. Okay, Anthony. Don't worry. Mommy can hold it. So here we have a few more uh, of the spider monkeys that were rescued from, um, I think they were pets, some of them. Some were um, in, a, in a circus, I think. I think mostly were pets. And um, what the guide was just telling us that their next project that they're working on um, is to create, instead of having cages for the monkeys, they're gonna have he described it as, a, as an island, but what that is, and within two years this project should be completed, it's going to be a much larger space where they dig a big trench and they kind of enclose a certain area. Um, wild predators like, like jaguars is going to be too big of a trench for them to jump and also same for the monkeys. So, But they're going to have uh, a sensation of more freedom and at the same time they're still going to be safe because again this trench that they're planning is going to be... Um, too big for them to be able to jump over it. So, interesting. These are two other monkeys. He's saying that these were also kept as, as pets, and they're not they're not too well because they were fed all kinds of junk food, so they are actually under medical attention. Actually, there's another one here. They're, um, I'm not sure, I think this one might be, well, look at her, she looks like she's sleeping, so sweet. But I don't know if these are the two that, yeah, it looks like these might be the ones that he explained to us that, again, were kept as pets and were not fed proper food. And uh, they are in the process of making them, healing them. As mentioned, they also rescue other animals. These are a couple of otters that were brought from a, from a different facility. And uh, they're in the process of building a waterfall and an additional pool for them. Now it's my turn. No, my love, my love. So this is in He's adorable. Go hop in for a minute. Anthony, you're shaking the camera a lot, so please don't shake it so much. There are two of them. Hi, cutie! Wow! I would find a pool with a water slide to another pool. This is a water slide, and look at him, now he's walking. I guess they call these amphibian animals, right? They, they're they good in the water, they're good on the soil. Oh my god, look at him. Adorable. Oh. <laughs> oh, they have the door closed. Yeah. Yeah, because that's not fully functional yet, the water slide. They're, they're working on that. Oh. So we got to an area where they have some flamingos. They were previously in one of the hotels. Some flamingos are a local species to this area. Uh, he explained to us that uh, the water, they keep it like that because the birds, um, when they drink, they filter the microorganisms and that's how they get their food. So apparently they, they literally eat from that water. So the water is kept this way on purpose. Um, he also explained that uh, what we think what we think are the knees of the birds, those are actually the ankles and the knees are actually right below the body. Very interesting. Um, he explained that, you know, they're birds, they do fly. Um, however, in this environment, their wings had been cut because they, um, they're they big birds and they would require, almost like an airplane requires like um, a, a landing strip to take off or a takeoff strip. Um, they also require like a lot of space and here they don't have it and basically they could get hurt. I mean, to me, they look, they look like they have their full wings. They're adorable. I've never heard them speak so much. They're adorable. They're so beautiful. 
And over here, these are a different type of bird. They are called spatula birds. As you can see, their peak is like a spatula. And these are also native to the area. Um, but they were, he told me that for reasons of preservation, these came from another institution. They work with other institutions to, uh, again, things like raising families, um, preservations of the species. <laughs> People think they're like a mini flamingo. No, <laughs> they're a different species of bird. So interesting and beautiful looking too. Look at the pink uh, fo foliage, I guess it's called. Amazing.